Hey, welcome to the SQL Server 2000 Denali installation. We are trying to install SQL Server Denali on a Windows 2008 machine. So prior to install the SQL Server 2008, you need to ensure you have Windows 2008 RTM. You have installed Service Pack 2 on that. You have PowerShell version 2.0 and you have installed all the Windows updates and patches. Then only you can start begin the installation, otherwise, you will be getting an error prior to install SQL Server Denali code base 1. Let me show you what all is being required. I made a software which is uh, highly required, it's also required .NET framework, a uh, service pack on that, a uh, Windows updates, and a PowerShell 2.0. And finally, now we are ready to install with SQL Server Denali installation, which is CTP1. So I'm just clicking on the setup to begin the installation. It should be pretty straightforward to the install as per the Windows to as per the C same as SQL Server 2008. I'm just starting a very straightforward installation. Uh, uh, once I through with the installation, I should be able to open the SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, SQL Server Denali uses the same SQL Server Installation Center for installation and, and planning and maintenance. It's a pretty same window as Windows 2008, uh, SQL Server 2008. I am click on the installation. I wanted to install a stand alone machine uh, on this Windows 2008 virtual machine. It checks for, for the pre-installation task what all is being installed or not. It checks for things, it is setup administrator and all the stuff, it is pretty okay with me. Now it's going to actually install the support files which are being required during the installation which is, this is the same steps which we used to perform while installing the SQL Server 2008 also. Now it opened the actually uh, SQL Server setup wizard. It says a firewall. I do not have the firewall installed, so that should be okay because it's a pretty uh, thing. And uh, it's very important. You need to have the PowerShell installed 2.0, otherwise you will not be able to proceed with the installation. I'm adding installing an enterprise edition. I, I go through with the license agreement. I am agree on that. Click on the next button. I want to install uh, a feature installation with that means I want to install database engine analysis services support services and integration services it asks for what all the feature you want to install I click on uh, all the features it's clearly mentioned is, it is an extension like which is an answer which is being done it's clearly mentioned the prerequisite for selected features so I already have a PowerShell 2.0 and .NET Framework 4.0 so it's already installed so to be installed is Microsoft Visual Studio 2.0 and 2010 which should be uh, done with this installation window also. I just hit the next button. It is going to check the installation rules now. If I check the reports, it's all says okay and, and, and it's zero fail. It's very important to have the zero in fail. Otherwise, we will not be able to get the next button. Otherwise, we'll need to stick up with something. We, I want to install the SQL Server. I have given the path key. This is the path where I want to install and I want to, wanted to install a default instance. Uh, in the next screen, it is going to ask me the disk space requirement. What exactly is the disk space requirement? And it says I have the system uh, very much space which is in place. It asks for security account which uh, through which I wanted to start with. I wanted to all should be start with a system account and uh, there is no password for that. It should be uh, all automatic and manual. 
I wanted to add current user as as a Windows administrator. I wanted to use a mixed mode authentication, and I also entered a password for SA login. So that means I have two user ID. One is SA, and one is a Windows administrator, Windows user to have access to the SQL Server. I can specify the data directories where the data directory is going to be placed, same as Windows 2008. The file stream, I don't want to enable the file stream at this moment. I hit the next button. Uh, same for the analysis services, which is pretty same as SQL Server, 2000, SQL Server 2008 installation. I specified the data directory, I don't want to change uh, on data directories. I hit the next button again. I want to install the reporting services with the default configuration. No, I said uh, I would configure it all later on. Error reporting, I, I don't want to send, let, let send the Microsoft errors to whatever the errors we get. It checks for uh, all the things would fail, fight, fail, prerequisite for final installation. And now it's ready to install. See, on 6.18 p.m. we are starting the installation. I said click on the install button. It's going to take few minutes. In the meantime, I'm pausing with the video to cut down the uh, time on this specific stuff. I just pausing it out. So it's already 6.22 and we are still on the installation. It is going to take approximately 10 minutes of time. So we already spent five minutes. So let, let's wait for another five minutes to continue on this. We are pretty close to complete the installation because it's now finally uh, cleaning up some of the backup files which is being created during the SQL Server installation. Let's wait for another few minutes to continue on this. It's 627 and we are still on the setup and it's taking a longer time to complete the installation. I will definitely let you know once we finish with the installation. It's taking a bit longer time. It's already 634 and we are still continuing on the installation. Let's wait for another few minutes. We had just finished the installation and uh, see the note finally in the in the last it clearly says it installed all the components successfully and uh, we finally installed the SQL Server Denali on Windows 2008 machine. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please continue watching on another set of video where I would be hosting a lot of new things which are being developed in SQL Server Denali code base and uh, keep visiting the db.com or uh, sql server training.com there are a lot of other videos are all already posted on this keep watching an eye on that and i would be soon posting another video which will be giving you a more detailed inter inter information about the new features of sql server management studio and and sql server denali code base ctp1 thanks for watching this video have a great day and keep visiting db.com thank you have a nice day